Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Nagesh Rao, Assistant Professor, Department of Civil Engineering from Nella Nasmaridi Educational Societies and Group of Institution, Hyderabad, Telangana. Let us solve a couple of problems from Transportation Engineering of the second unit. That is a Highway Geometric Design. From that unit of the topic is Extra Widening. Hey guys, this is the problem. Let us solve. Calculate the extra widening required for a pavement of within 7 meter on a horizontal curve of radius 250 meter. If the longest wheel base of vehicle expected on the road is 7 meter, design speed is 70 kmph. Compare the value obtained with the IRC recommendations. Guys, is given in the question width of the pavement is the length of the what is that 7 meter horizontal curve is there, the radius is 250, pavement within that the length is given here that is the 7 meter and radius is mentioned. That is 250 meter and speed is given here that is uh, 70 kmph value is given and he said uh, calculate the extra widening requirement. So we will uh, calculate according to the formula. So guys so we know very well so there is two widenings is there one is mechanical widening as well as the psychological widening is there. According to that formula, so we need to calculate the uh, how many meters we required for the widening. So here extra widening is required that is W suffix E is equal to mechanical widening plus psychological widening. We know formulas very well here. So mechanical widening formula is NL square upon 2R plus psychological widening is V upon 9.5 under root of R. L is length of the wheel. We know very well V is design speed. R is radius of curvature. We know uh, very well here. And here N is equals to 2 lane. So guys here uh, lane is given that is the 2 lane. So he given in question. So we need to uh, substitute these values in the formula. W is equals to 2 into so n value is 2 and here L value is 7 length of the wheel square upon 2 into R radius of curvature that is a 250 plus and V that is the design speed 70 kmph is given in question that is 70 upon 9.5 into under root 250 that is R value radius of curvature. So then we are getting here 0 0.196 plus 0 0.466. So we are getting here value is 0 0.662 so means where extra widening is required here 0 0.6 meter of that uh, end of the wheel of 7 meter so guys uh, for the IRC recommendation we will see here how much meter is we need to require here so is given the IRC recommendations extra widening of 6, 0 0.6 meter when the radius of the curvature is 101 to 300 meter. So it is given IRC recommendation is there. What we are getting the value of extra widening. According to that value we need to require the radius of curvature. In this problem we are getting the value is 0 0.6 we can say. So we can see in the table. So guys we are value 2 lane. For 2 lane, we are value is 0 0.6 here. So then obviously, radius of curvature in meters, 
we need to require from 101 to 300 meter this is extra width of the pavement at horizontal curve so 7 meter is there apart from that we need to require 0 0.6 meter width is there extra winding so at that condition we need to require 101 to 300 meter radius so if value is depends upon the extra winding value if we get 1.5 up to 20 meters only if you get 1.2 here that is 41 to 60 if you get 0 0.9 that is 61 to 100 that is two lane if we ask a single lane if it is 0 0.9 that is up to 20 0 0.6 20 to 40 is there and 41 to 60 also is there if it is nil that is 61 to 40 100 so likewise values is there according uh, according to the uh, extra widening of the value that is w this is the answer guys and let us solve another problem yeah this is the second problem find the total width of your pavement on a horizontal curve for a new national highway to be aligned along a ruling terrain with a ruling minimum radius assume necessary data guys is given here some of the values so we need to calculate here a total width of a pavement and a horizontal curve we need to calculate for new national highway we not mentioned here any kind of the value but he said assumption so we can take uh, speed 80 kmph so national highway or ruling terrain so ruling design he mentioned here ruling uh, terrain now so that's why we can take according to the irc ruling design speed v is equal to 80 kmph it's okay and generally normal pavement width w is equal to 7 meter we can take and we can take number of lanes 2 that is n value and wheel base of truck l is equal to 6 meters that is length we can take and here we know according to the irc that is a super elevation e is equal to 0 0.07 we know very well and resistance is there skid resistance that is a f is equal to 0 0.15 so these are the following data what we are assumed according to this data we will calculate the total pavement width on a horizontal curve so before that so his ruling terrain is given so that's why we need to calculate the ruling radius so we know that is the formula r ruling is equal to v square upon 127 into small e plus f so f uh, f value is there e value is there and v value is there v is design speed that is 80 kmph we know very well and according to the irc indian road congress super elevation small e is equals 0 0.07 plus skid resistance that is f is equals 0 0.15 that is the value also we know very well so then we are getting here value is 229 meters we can say 230 meters that is a ruling radius we need to require so at the same time we need to calculate the total width of the pavement so total width of the pavement we need to require but here so normal pavement width is 7 meter we know very well but when we are considering uh, we should consider here super elevation as well as the uh, resistance so that is the formula is extra widening so w e we need to require uh, how much amount we need to uh, extend at that uh, curvature zone that is a uh, mandatory if it is straight road so it is not necessary to the extra widening but it is a curvature road so we need to require extra widening so that's why we need to calculate here extra widening that is a w e is equals to nl, NL square by 2r plus v upon 9.5 under root of r we know very well these all kind of the values n l 
uh, length of the wheel, number of lanes, R is equal to radius of curvature, V is equal to design speed that is kmph is given in the question. So we need to substitute these values here that is W is equal to N value is 2 length that is 2 and here L value is given that is the wheel based on the truck that is 6 meter and radius of the curvature is R that is we know very well here 230 and uh, V value is that is the design speed that is we are taking at the ruling gradient ruling terrain that is 80 kmph so that is uh, 80 by 9.5 R is in R e is uh, ruling radius we are getting here that is the 230 so guys here uh, one problem wrong is there under root of 230 but you have written here 250 that is a mistaken from the textbook so then we are getting here 0 0.15 plus 0 0.55 then our total value extra widening we is equals to 0 0.712 meter so that is extra widening so then we need what we need to require here total width of the pavement at the horizontal curve of new national highway so therefore total pavement width on curve is equals so normal pavement w plus extra widening w e why we are using extra widening means that is curved zone he asked at particular curved zone so at that time we need to require extra pavement why because so front wheel and rear wheel cannot move on same path at curved zone at horizontal zone these two means front wheels rear wheels moving on same path but at the condition of the curvature position so may not move on the particular path so that's why we need to require extra widening at that case front wheel is moving outer edge rear wheel is moving inner edge in this condition we are required extra widening so w plus w e so normal pavement width is 7 meter and uh, extra widening what we are getting here 0 0.712 meter so 7 plus 0 0.75 that is 7.71 meter that is the total pavement width on a horizontal curve for a new national highway so guys this is the answer so generally we need to require extra widening at the curved path only of a horizontal mean horizontal position not required for vertical zone it is required at the horizontal zone in normal plain terrain hilly terrain mountainous terrain whatever it may be if any kind of the terrain is there at curved path horizontal curved path we need to require extra widening so why means already i'm explained about rear wheel front wheel how it is work of a mechanical as well as the psychological widening so this is the information guys thank you thank you so much